everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. Today I am continuing my Hogwarts Houses inspired makeup tutorial. I am choosing to do Hufflepuff today, which are of course black and yellow. They are known to be just and loyal and just stay by your side. So that's what I love about Hufflepuff. And I'm only going to be using Makeup Geek Eyeshadow. So super affordable makeup look. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let's subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do Ravenclaw or Slytherin next. So all my Slytherin Ravenclaw fans, leave the vote down below. And I will think about which house I'm going to do next week. So let's go ahead and get it. I'm going to do is take my MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and... I'll apply this on my eyelids for my primer. I'm ready. And then I am going to set it. Where is my mirror? Here it is. I'm going to set it with. I don't know what that noise was. Um, with the shade called Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. It's this, if I can hold it right. Pretty, if it's going to focus. Come on camera, please. Thank you. Very light cream color, and I am going to apply this all over the lid with a Sigma Blending E25 brush. With a shredded hair. Just to set that primer. And then I'm going to go into the crease with creme brulee, which is this light matte brown colour, perfect for the transition shade. So now I'm just going to go straight in the crease with this with this just normal blending brush, just by normal any brand. And this is going to go in the crease. Using windshield motions to sweep back and forth. Just like that. Then next, I am going to take Frappe, which is a slightly darker brown. Oh no, wait, Latte. Sorry, Latte. It's just this slightly darker brown shade, and that's going to go all over the lid. Very soft with the Sigma E40 blending brush. I'm just going to sweep that all over my lid. Tap off the excess. Just like that. So you'll have something like this. I'm just going to touch up a little bit on this eye. There we go. Alrighty. Next, we are going to go in with Lemon Drop, which is this bright yellow colour. Come on, focus. Here we go. This bright yellow colour. And that's going to go on the outer corner, focus, thank you, on the outer corner of your eye. All right, just take it on any brush you fancy. Tap off the excess because it's a bright ass yellow. You want to work very light hand.
and slowly build it up. The only problem I have about Mayhem Pig eyeshadows, they do have a bit of fallout. And if you have a Z palette, it gets all in the other shades. So, but the pigmentation is beautiful. Take it and blend. Just like that. And once again, do the same on the other eye. And then go in with the, with a blending brush and in the shade Crimson and Away, which was our transition shade, and blend out the edges. Mm. Like that. Then you are going to take this MAC foil eyed eyeshadow called Magic Act. It's this pretty goldy champagne colour. That's going to go in the inner corner of your eye. So I'm going to take. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Should have all colours, all brushes planned in advance. So much easier. Yeah. Of course, I'm not building that way. I'm just going to take this shadow um, dual ended brush by XO Beauty, and once again in that shade, tap off the excess and work that in the inner corner. And all over the lid. It just gives it that nice pop. Of course, you can wet your brush if that's something you want to do. Focus, thank you. So you should have your eye something like that. And then you go ahead and do the same on the other eye. I love these for your eyeshadows, they just give that nice pop to the eye. And they're only 10 bucks. Which is super, super affordable. Just like pigmented eyeshadows. So you should have something like this, so far. Get in there. All right, next I am going to take a pencil brush. And I am going to go in with the shade Ice Queen, which is just this nice matte eye, white eyeshadow color. Very pretty. And that is going in the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. So 
So you left something like this. I'm just going to go ahead and build up that yellow color again. So I'm going to take the lemon drop once again. Which was a nice yellow shade. And I'm just going to touch up in the outer corner. And then once again, blend them out. And now it's time to clean it, clean it up. So I'm just going to take the Mac Pro Conceal and Correction Eyeshadow uh, Concealer Palette. I don't know why my tongue's gone all twisted today. And I'm just going to start try to find my concealer brush. Should be somewhere just used you a minute ago. Where are you? Are you hiding from me? Come on. Where are you? Well, this is a meltdown. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, here we go. And I'm just taking this light colour here and I'm mixing it with this yellow shade at the bottom. And I'm just cleaning out that line. Just to make it a bit sharper. And then I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend that out. Alright, now's the time to do liquid eyeliner, which I'm going to do off camera and then I'll come right back for the finished look. Okay, so I apply my lashes, done my eyeliner. So next I'm going to take a small um, brush with the shade Fortune Teller by Makeup Geek. It's once again a foiled eyeshadow, which looks like this if it focuses. Come on, come on, I know you want to do it. Thank you. So it looks like that, and I'm going to mix that color in with Lemon Drop, which is what we use on our eyes. God, my camera is terrible today. What's wrong with you? Why aren't you focusing? Oh. Focus. Thank you. And I'm just going to run that under my lower lashes. Just like that. And when the black mascara out, it will pop with the gold underneath, which is what we want. Just like that. And I'm going to just quickly touch up using the Magic Act Foil Eyeshadow Colour, just all over the lid, just a bit more wow. Because I found that when I was blending, it wasn't really much of a pot. So I'm just going to put that all over. I've been careful of the eyeliner. Just like that. All right. Now I'm going to zoom out so we can see how it all looks. Well, that's zoomed in. That's zoomed in. Come on, zoom out, zoom out. Okay, and this is Hufflepuff's 